what is going on happy new year's to you all we are coming back this new year's with a brand new fishing video i am here at my favorite fishing spot and i'm going to be setting up in the water stay tuned and let's see what i catch today Hey guys, so I'm out here fishing today and I'm in my favorite spot here. I'm gonna teach you guys how to catch some spotted bay bass using frozen bait. Now I have anchovies here. I picked these up at my local Walmart. And what I love to do when I go about setting my hook is I'll take one of these guys and I'll cut them where I have just about an inch. I put this on my hook and I cast out and I'll show you guys how to catch some spotted bay bass using just about this big of a piece of an anchovy to catch fish today. There we go. Nice 15 inch spotted bay bass right there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that guy. Just like that, we caught a 15 inch bout spotted bay bass. So pretty nice. We're gonna get a good, good release on this guy now. There it goes. All right, here we go, another fish on. Oh, no, it came off. Shoot. All right, here we go, next cast out. We are still using sardines. Um, cutting them about an inch or so, so let's go ahead and cast out and see what we catch. All right, here we go, we got another fish on. And we caught, ooh, another spot of bay bass here. Check that guy out. Probably a good 13 inches or so. There's some big chunkers out here today. All right, we got him off the hook. We're gonna snap a quick photo of this guy. Look at that beast. One thing I did remember to bring today on my adventures is my handy guide. So let's go get a good measure on this guy before we get a release. All right, I am from tail to mouth. I'm measuring one foot. All right. Look at this beauty. Get a release on him. And we'll be good to go. Thanks for letting me catch you. Foot. Super beauty. We're going to let him go now. So just like that, I mean, super simple. I caught two awesome, huge, chunky spotted bay bass today. Uh, one was about a foot. You saw me measure that one. And then the second one had to easily be about 14 or 15 inches super big um i did not have my tape measure near me but i wanted to make sure i got that guy back in the water and a good safe release um on that guy so thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it if these tips really helped you out let me know down in the comments below and what kind of tips you have so i can use them the next time i go fishing thanks so much for watching this video i hope you guys have a great new year's and i have more fishing adventures to come in the new year Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you later.